Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Not Mint in Box. Today we are once again hooking up with my boy Chris Vint from Master Universe Chronicles. To look at the bird brain of the Master Universe, the aeronautic master of Eternia, Stratos. Let's kick it over to Chris Vint with his video. Hello and welcome to another review with uh, Not Mint in Boxes, very own Mr. Rob Bass. So today we're actually going to be reviewing Stratos. As you can see here, the last two I've done have had the action punch thing, so uh, unfortunately Stratos is the same. Um, you can see here as well from Busted Toon's blog that uh, Stratos figure was a villain in early development, soaring on the wings of wickedness. Uh, but you can see obviously that uh, he wasn't because here he is with Teacher Mi Tila, maybe he kidnapped her, who knows. But no, all joking aside, it says Stratos Winged Warrior, so he actually was a good guy. As you can see in the the art on the back of the card, him um, flying up high, Skeletor down below. So, with uh, same with the story with my man, unfortunately I don't own the Stratos Vintage Mint on card, I only own the um, commemorative one. So as you can see here, the harness is available on the figure on the 2002 one but not in the vintage version obviously the vintage version still has the um, comic behind the figure whereas we never got that 2002 so let's have a listen to this man who was the voice of Stratos in action from the Filmation cartoon I'm glad you could make it to this celebration of ours He-Man I wouldn't miss it Obviously, it was up to me, Sean Connery, to voice Stratos. So, uh, let's have a little listen. It is you who are weak. You choose evil, and that's a choice made only by the weakest minds. Okay, we'll soar now to the 2002 stuff. Love this RT ever did it. Um, congrats. Um, yeah, here we see the micro bust. Um, one of the things we got of Stratos in 2002. We also got him on the front cover of the MVC Creations comic. And in 2002, we also got a Kmart exclusive, which had like a little sticker you could see in the background. So in 2002, we also had the one on the right hand side is the normal one, and the one on the left is the claw attack, as you can see with the big massive claw, and there's like a little gas mask thing here. The missiles obviously just pop into his wee jetpack thing on his back and actually fire out. Uh, one of the main differences as well is you can see the harness, but also the wings are different colour. You can see here the green, um, whereas that one there is red. So a nice touch to it, to be honest with you. Okay, now I'm sure by now you know my feeling on these repaints. Now we have a red card and a green card. Both Sky Strike Stratos. Can you notice any difference between the two apart from the fact that they're on different cards? Can you? Well, let's have a look at the back of the red card. And as you can see, Stratos is posed like that. And we'll have a look at the green card. And oh, Stratos is posed the exact same way. It's the exact look. Here's the red. And I'll show you a green. Here's the red. I'll show you the green. Exact same. That is just sheer laziness. I don't understand it. Damn you, Mattel. Okay, and lastly, to round things up, we have Whee! Flying in to view the classic um, Stratos. Um, I just love this figure. Um, I like the fact that the um, harness is a different colour to the one I have. Um, you can obviously get the weapons pack um, to make it all red, but I don't understand the point in that. I really wish that he came equipped with something like the Staff of Avion, a little accessory because he's the only figure that hasn't come with a single, single accessory. So once again, Mr. Bass, thank you very much. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Thanks. Let's take a closer look at the Flyboy himself. Checking out the front of the box, we get the typical Mass Universe Classics package. Look on the back, we get his bio. Okay, let's rip him out of this package. Just like all the figures in this line, he sports a ton of articulation and looks so much like the Vintage Stratos. Right down to using the same body sculpt as Beastman. What Stratos is lacking? A weapon. You know, when I was a kid, we gave Stratos uh, the Webster gun. You know, what Webster was packed with? That little gun, but gray. Well, that isn't too big of a loss. If you own the weapons pack, it comes with one of the uh, guns, and you can just give it to the old bird brain himself. Because the last thing we need is Birdman flying around without a weapon. We all need our good guys unarmed. 
Overall, this figure is alright and would have benefited from a weapon or his staff like in the 2000X show. That would have been cool. Kind of a nod to that line. But if you're a completist, you need him. If not, don't waste your 28 bucks because he isn't worth it. Maddie needs to hook us up a little bit more with some bonuses with each toy. Now, I'm not saying to give us a bird or a sidekick every time, but give the guy a weapon. If the original didn't come with a weapon, doesn't mean the new one shouldn't come with a weapon. These toys don't cost $3.25 anymore. They cost us 28 bucks. So Maddie, cough up a gun or a stick. Well guys, remember, do your toys, play with them the way you want.